The kingdom of Israel divides. 1 Kings 11:26 through 12:33. After King David died, his son Solomon became king of Israel. Solomon asked God for wisdom, and God granted his request by making him the wisest man in the world. God also blessed Solomon with much wealth. He was not only the wisest man in the world, he was also the richest. Solomon didn't follow after God all the days of his life. As he grew older, he stopped loving and serving God and served idols instead. God was not happy with Solomon. Soon Solomon would learn the consequences of his disobedience to God. When Solomon's builders were adding an addition to Jerusalem and repairing the city's walls, Solomon noticed that Jeroboam was a skilled worker. So Solomon made Jeroboam a leader over some workers. But working for Solomon was hard. Jeroboam began to resist Solomon and even became his enemy. God had chosen Jeroboam to be a ruler of Israel after Solomon died. Jeroboam would find this out in an interesting way. One day, the prophet Ahijah met Jeroboam on the road out of Jerusalem. Ahijah took Jeroboam's coat and tore it into 12 pieces. Then he said to Jeroboam, Take 10 pieces of this coat, for God has said he will tear the kingdom away from Solomon and will give you 10 tribes to rule. Solomon's son, Rehoboam, will rule over only two tribes because Solomon has brought idol worship into the land. Solomon has not continued to obey God like his father David did. God challenged Jeroboam to live right and obey God's commands. If Jeroboam obeyed God, God would be with him and would give his family the throne in Israel for generations to come. When Solomon found out about God's message to Jeroboam, he tried to kill Jeroboam. Jeroboam fled to Egypt. He returned to Israel only after he heard Solomon was dead. Meanwhile, the Israelites crowned Solomon's son Rehoboam. Jeroboam and the people came to Rehoboam and said, Your father Solomon made us work very hard. Please make it easier for us. If you do, we will serve you. The people hoped Rehoboam would lighten their heavy workload. Rehoboam answered, Come back in three days. I will have an answer for you then. Rehoboam asked some of Solomon's advisors what they thought he should do. They answered, The people will serve you if you are like a servant to them, and they will always work for you if you speak kindly to them. But Rehoboam did not listen to the advice of Solomon's advisors. Instead, he asked his friends how they would answer the people. The friends told Solomon to say, my little finger is stronger than my father's whole body. My father made you work hard, but I will demand that you work even harder. My father used whips to punish you, but I will use whips with sharp tips to punish you. Three days later, Jeroboam and the people came back. King Rehoboam treated the people rudely and did what his friends told him to do. He said, My father made you work hard, but I will demand you work even harder. My father used whips to punish you, but I will use whips with sharp tips to punish you. King Rehoboam thought his decision would make him richer. God knew Rehoboam's decision would split the kingdom of Israel. That was God's plan. The Israelites rejected Rehoboam as their king and returned to their homes. Rehoboam believed he could force the Israelites to serve him. He sent Adoram, the officer in charge of forced labor, to talk to them, but the Israelites stoned Adoram to death. King Rehoboam fled to Jerusalem in his chariot. The ten northern tribes of Israel wanted their own king. They would never serve Rehoboam. They made Jeroboam their king, just as the prophet had said. Rehoboam gathered 180,000 soldiers from the remaining two tribes, Judah and Benjamin. Rehoboam thought he could take back his kingdom by military force, but God used the prophet Shemaiah to change Rehoboam's mind. The prophet told the king and his people that the Lord had divided the kingdom. God did not want Rehoboam fighting against Israel. Rehoboam and the people listened and obeyed the word of the Lord. Jeroboam, however, did not listen to the Lord. He made two golden calves for the ten tribes who followed him. Jeroboam put one calf in northern Israel and one in southern Israel. The ten tribes disobeyed God and worshipped the golden calves instead of worshipping God. Even though none of us are kings, God still wants us to listen to him. We should take time every day to talk to God in prayer. We need to read his word and learn more about him so we will learn to trust and obey him.